So yeah, Henry Cavill did not show up at the Warner Brothers DC panel at Comic-Con. As I told you, as a number of people told you, was most likely, like 99% likely the case. But I can understand why some of you had hope a lot of hope. I feel bad for you guys, uh, Henry Cavill fans. Uh, you're getting used, for sure. But Deadline said in their, in their um, coverage for Comic-Con, you know, upcoming panels this, this week, that there was a rumor, which is how they covered themselves, that Henry Cavill was going to show up. Uh, I think that Dwayne Johnson, who of course is in business with Henry Cavill, whose ex-wife and current business partner, Danny Garcia, represents Henry Cavill. I think that Dwayne Johnson would not only like to see Henry Cavill succeed for that reason, because you know he's in business with him, basically, but I think he knows that his movie really needs Henry Cavill, but he can't get him in there. And if Dwayne Johnson can't get Henry Cavill into to Black Adam, Warner Brothers really doesn't want to put him in there because they, they've had time now that they could film an extra scene. Uh, they still have a little time. The movie's locked. Uh, Joan Collette Sarah said at the panel, we'll, we'll, we'll watch the, the, the spot in a moment, but this is important. Joan Collette Sarah said it's locked. Uh, you know, they show, he said he showed the movie to the cast at Comic-Con last night. Uh, it's ready to go. Now, it comes out in October, so you know, never say never. Until that thing actually plays on screen in front of a public audience, I think that people are gonna hold out hope. I think that the Black Adam movie wants you to hold out hope. And I think that legitimately there is some hope that it could happen. I don't think it ever will, because I don't think that even Warner Brothers Discovery wants to go backward. I don't think they wanna reopen up that can of worms. I think they just wanna move forward and do DC for as clean a slate as possible and do it their way. And then also, as you know, they're bringing back Ben Affleck, but you know, again, I've told you that you have to look at the evidence that why can't Henry Cavill get other work at major studios? Uh, and you know, Apple and Netflix, I love Apple and Netflix, but you know, they're eager to get big names because they wanna prove that they're on the same level as everyone else. So as has been widely documented, they will take risks that other people, other companies are not willing to. And it's come back to, to haunt Netflix a little bit. Um, but anyway, that's why Henry Cavill's working with streaming services. But, I mean, he was so good in Mission Impossible, right? Why did they kill his character off? Why hasn't he been invited back somehow? Why doesn't he have a twin brother? He was amazing on that franchise, and the fact that he has not been, remained a part of it to me says a lot because he was so incredible in the film. Uh, and I think Henry Cavill on screen does a really, really great job. Because uh, I, you know, I took this poll for what people were most excited about today, and I'm shocked that the Dwayne Johnson DC movies, Black Adam and Shazam 2, were so far behind everything else in the poll. I mean, that's like really crazy. And I, but I think a lot of you voted for Warner Brothers surprises because you thought you were going to get Henry Cavill. And Henry Cavill, I mean, uh, uh, Dwayne Johnson even teased Henry Cavill for Black Adam. He said, someone asked who would win in a fight, Superman or Black Adam? And Dwayne Johnson said, it's, a, it's really a close, you know, it's a close call. It depends on who's playing Superman, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And I think a lot like Zack Snyder, and Dwayne, this is a dangerous game, so Dwayne Johnson better be careful. Uh, I think that he is trying to compel, let's say, Warner Brothers into bringing Henry Cavill back on. But I think that it is incredibly unlikely because I don't think the Dwayne, I, I, I mean, I don't think that Warner Brothers, even Discovery, wants to go back to the drama that was the Snyder Cut um, and, I, I, and, and, and all the other things that have uh, come unfolded from that. I think, I think they're almost out. They've almost extricated themselves from that. So why would they dive back in? Um, you know, and especially with the remnants that are, it's almost like a curse, you know, like what, look what's happened to the Flash movie, which has kept on a lot of, you know, entities from that, from that era. Uh, and, and then also because of the things I told you I've heard about Henry Cavill. So let's look at this. I'm sure Dwayne Johnson wishes that Henry Cavill was in this movie. A lot of us wish Henry Cavill was in this movie, but Henry Cavill really should, I mean, should be looking for something else at this point. He's not going to come back as Superman. 
He'd be better off going and doing something else, and then maybe, who knows, if that blew up big, he then maybe that would give him a better shot as coming back at Superman. If Dwayne Johnson and Danny Garcia really want to help Henry Cavill, they should get him a new franchise somewhere else. And they kind of almost got him Hellraiser, although that's, some of you have pointed out, taking a little longer than anticipated, and The Witcher really fell off last season. People were not pleased with season two, but maybe season three, which he's working on right now, uh, we'll, we'll bring it back. But that's, that's the best thing Henry Cavill can do for himself. I, I think that it is almost impossible for, and, if, and again, with all due respect to Dwayne Johnson, if anyone could do it, it would be Dwayne Johnson. And he can't do it, as you can see. But he's still trying to use that promise, I think, to not only help Black Adam, the movie, but to maybe, you know, with the idea that maybe if it's a huge hit, it would give him the leverage he needs to maybe get Henry Cavill and Black Adam too. But... I just don't see that happening. Uh, I think the Black Adam, I mean, I think that Dwayne Johnson, aka Black Adam, who made quite the entrance at Comic Con, as you can see, should just focus on himself, because uh, I think that's going to be a bit of an uphill battle, all on its own. Because the character, I think, is not only not particularly well known, but I think that it seems a lot more like Dwayne Johnson up there than Black Adam. But I liked the first trailer. I told you my friend was into it, so let's let's take a look at this thing. All right, here we go. I do like when he flies. My powers are not a gift, but a curse. Yeah, he paid a horrible price for them, his son. Born out of That's rage. cool. Black Adam. Oh, that's cool too. Yeah, he should be playing up Dr. Fate. You believe you are not worthy. Oh, that looks cool. This looks good. Parts. Oh, that looks good. Was that a bunch of Dr. Fates there? You can be the destroyer of this world. Or you can be its savior. The world needed a hero. Instead, it got me. Yeah, play up this fight. It doesn't need this promise of Superman swooping in. Um, all I have to say, Dwayne Johnson is quite the politician. He'll fight any Superman. I think he'll fight for Henry Cavill, but at the end of the day, I think he just wants his Superman, his Superman fight for you know, you know, from what I hear, there that's what's set up for uh, for um, a, a potential Black Adam sequel. Uh, but they have a great lineup of characters here, and I think the visual effects look strong. I would be like, let's Dr. Fate it up. Everybody loves Dr. Fate. People are, yeah, that's a bunch of Dr. Fates. What's happening there? I want to hear more about this. So um, I think this, you know, let's just focus on this movie because this is the one that's coming out. I think it's, it's, again, another dangerous game to have your sights set totally on a sequel and almost like this, it makes this seem like it's not the main event, you know, like, and it should be, because I think it looks good. So uh, what do you think? And what do you think of the Henry Cavill situation? Um, again, I feel bad for you guys. I think at this point, the Snyder, the Snyder fandom is getting used a little bit. That you got, that, you know, if all Hollywood has to do is just kind of wink at you a little bit and you show up in droves and then they don't have any obligation to actually deliver to you. And you keep coming back anyway. Um, I feel bad. Don't wear your hearts on your sleeves, guys. You know? All right. All right. So share your thoughts down below. Subscribe today. And of course, as always, you can check out some more videos right now.